Hi, my name is Imam Nurbani Yusuf. I come from Bandung Institute of Technology, Indonesia. So today, uh, I want to demonstrate how to program SIM card, set up OAI, and try the SIM card to attach to OAI network. The material that we need are the first one is mini PC. The mini PC is used to run the PC, HSS, and UNOT. The second one is USRP. The third one is cell phone or a UE. The fourth one is SIM card, a programmable SIM card. And the last one is SIM card reader. Before we run OAI, we need to plug the USRP to the mini PC. There are three terminals, one for EPC, one for HSS, and one for eNodeB. First, I will run EPC. Next, I will run HSS. We can see the state of HSS is open. It means that HSS is ready to communicate with EPC. Last, I will run inode B. Before I run inode B, I need to make sure that all of the interfaces that I use is up. Now, all interfaces is up. Let's run in not be script. At this state, OAI is running already. It waits UE to connect. As we can see in the screen, in HSS, there is UE number start and both in HSS and eNodeB, there is lock that write down all events in HSS and eNodeB respectively. Okay, hi, my name is Muhammad Yafi Abdillah. I come from Bandung Institute of Technology, Indonesia. The business card is made by Indonesian company named Circa Silicon Technology. Now, I will show you how to program the SIM card. First, we have to plug the car reader into the mini PC. Then, insert the SIM card into the car reader. First, open up the tutorial document and download the application for programming the Circa SIM card. Then, click connect button to start reading the SIM card information. Now, open up your browser and type your IP address and use phpMyAdmin to extract user information from HSS. Choose whatever you want and copy the IMSI number.
Then copy the key number and also the OPC number. And set the LOCI and PSLOCI to update so the number will be 00. zero. Set the SPN to open an interface. Don't forget to press the update and also refresh button. Let's wait a minute. Check again by pressing this connect button and reconnect the SIM card. Now it's all changed. It's done. Now the SIM card has been successfully programmed. You can use the SIM card and insert into the UE. Let's do the testing. Let's turn off airplane mode in UE and wait until UE successfully attached to network. If UE is successfully attached to AI network, it will have 4G signal. We can see here, UE has 4G connection and I will try to access some websites. That's all from us. Thank you. Share, share. Bye bye. bye.